Hello my lovelies, I woke up feeling like Dora the Explorer, ready to explore the city of Marrakesh. We went to Bahia Palace and just before we could enter the palace, we saw this beautiful shop and we got some things from it. Apparently it's called Jalaba, not Jalabia, my people in Ghana, it's called Jalaba. They gave us complimentary earrings on the house and then before we could enter, we saw a queue from the palace. So you join the queue and then you enter it, just that it's, it moves really fast, it's not that slow. This is the view of the entrance of the palace, lots of orange trees, red roses white roses you pay over there at 70 dirhams and then you can enter it has a rich culture you see lots of lots of things when we entered i i got the vibe of um, medieval vibes it gave me Riyadh vibes and also indian style of building i've seen a couple of them with the plantations or the gardens inside the building the other thing i noticed is the ceiling i'm told it's made of cedar wood but it looks like it's hand painted one after the other and it has lots of details whoever did this in the 15th century was just a genius and then we enter into different different courtyards look at this one and then that one and then that one and then that one so much culture in here but i was a bit surprised because it gave me different vibes it doesn't give me just arabian vibes because qatar and dubai doesn't give me this vibe it doesn't give me african vibe because africa doesn't give this vibe so i'm going to say medieval that's the only thing i can say about this i put in a lot of details i want you to enjoy it with me so there's a lot of display of artifacts from way back i've forgotten the year in which most of them were and there's nothing like a muslim building without the cabbages on their buildings but the other thing is there's lots and lots of roses we saw this horse outside we couldn't get on it it's too hot